Monday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. It is the, what is today? The 24th day of October, 2016. Hope you had a good weekend. We had a beautiful autumn day yesterday. Today, eh, kind of not so much. It was pretty cloudy all morning. The sky did brighten some this afternoon. Now, we lost a lot of leaves with the wind and the rain Friday and into Saturday. Now, that said, we're still, I would consider it to be pretty close to our peak. Now, you see on the map here that uh, I don't have us officially in this, in this peak, this kind of brownish color. But we're awfully close. Uh, so, for all intents and purposes, over the next three, four, five days, we should be pretty much at our peak color. And then, you know, pretty quickly, as we go into November, typically around here, all of a sudden, everything's bare. It tends to happen pretty fast. All we need is another wind and rain event for, to, for a lot of those leaves to come down. Uh, past peak colors up in parts of New England, including upstate New York and the Adirondacks, down towards the Catskills, as well the Pocono Mountains and Northeast PA getting close to being past peak. But again, high to near peak color, most of northeast Ohio and into western PA. Uh, temperatures went nowhere today. Our official high was in the mid-50s, but that was just after midnight. Uh, we had temperatures that just sort of flatlined all day today, upper 40s, lower 50s, uh, and the wind made it feel a lot chillier than it actually was. Now, we had that blanket of clouds this morning. The clouds did thin some, but this deck of stratocumulus clouds is thickened back up this evening. And while there can be some holes in the clouds, you may notice if you happen to look up at some point tonight, generally speaking, a pretty cloudy night for us coming up on this Monday night. I had to show you this real quick. Check out this cool feature. Big occluded low-pressure system off the coast of British Columbia and Washington. Uh, strongly occluded low-pressure with... Uh, I'm not sure what the central pressure is on that yet, but uh, it has to be awfully low, and it certainly looks very cool on the satellite picture. So I got a kick out of that, so I wanted to show you that. All right, our Tuesday is going to be kind of like today. Um, more clouds than sun, especially in the morning. Could even be a, a passing shower, particularly up towards northeastern Trumbull into Mercer uh, County, because this is kind of a lake effect band that has a Lake Huron fetch over toward, over across Lake Erie, and is sort of aimed at Ashtabula County, uh, Crawford County, PA. But it can, it, you know, this little band of spotty showers could clip eastern Trumbull parts of Mercer. Uh, the sky should brighten tomorrow afternoon once again, and then we'll have a clear to partly cloudy sky for a lot of the night tomorrow night, and that's going to allow temperatures to drop. All right, next warm front's coming in quickly on Wednesday. Clouds will thicken throughout the day, towards the end of the day, probably after sunset. There could be a touch of rain with a better chance for rain later in the evening into the overnight Wednesday night. And on Thursday, uh, I, I do suspect that uh, there's probably some steady rain around at least early in the day, Rest of the day featuring spotty showers, and Thursday could be a backwards day where we reach our high in the morning, but then the cold air wraps in as we get into the afternoon. Temperatures might actually fall from a morning high in the mid-50s. Check out these temperatures tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. For a lot of us, pretty close to our coldest night of the season so far. Uh, you know, we're getting so late into October now that hopefully everyone's concerned about a heavy frost is, you know, it's no longer a big concern. Most people brought their plants in, covered them, or they're just going to let them, you know, <laughs> uh, succumb to the season. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, a lot of places could end up at 29 or 30 degrees Wednesday morning before only recovering to the upper 40s Wednesday uh, afternoon. All right, let's talk World Series. Game one tomorrow evening, 8.08 first pitch up at Progressive Field. Uh, I do think that uh, tomorrow is no problem whatsoever in terms of the weather other than it being chilly. Wednesday, though, I've increased the odds to 70% of rain. Might have to increase them even higher. Now, is this enough to cause like a postponement in terms of they might have to make it up the next day? Not sure about that. Maybe. Uh, I I suspect, though, we're going to be struggling with some delays Wednesday evening. They might start the game, but at some point the rain may come down heavy enough that there might be a delay. That's game two. Game one, wind will be kind of frisky, blowing generally from left field to right field and out. Uh, so... Uh, you know, left-handed hitters might have a, a good time trying to hit that uh, short home run porch out in right field. Uh, 8 to 16 miles per hour in the wind will make it feel like the lower 40s, so definitely a chilly one for uh, Game 1 Tuesday evening. All right, with that next warm front that's going to bring us the rain Wednesday into Wednesday night, it's going to be cold enough for some accumulating snow to our east uh, in parts of New York State, up in Vermont, New Hampshire, maybe Maine, but particularly in New York State. Uh, first accumulating snow at even some lower elevations of the season so far. Thankfully, we're not dealing with that. 
Real quick word on the winter forecast. Uh, still don't know the exact date, but it'll be early next week. Uh, it'll debut on 21 News at 6 and 11. I'm going to do a much longer version for you weather geeks and people who drive snow plows and, and, and make their living off the, uh, the, the winter weather. Uh, I'll do a much longer, more detailed version here online early on next week. Monday or Tuesday, it'll depend on the weather. If the weather's really busy one of those days, I'll put it off till, you know, another day or so. But if we have a quiet weather evening early next week, I'll do the winter forecast. All right, let's uh, go back to the short term. I mentioned Thursday, some steady rain here in the morning, leftover showers in the afternoon. Here's a look at Friday. A little bubble of high pressure builds in, and I think Friday is a decent day. Could be a morning shower, and it might be a day kind of like today and tomorrow where the clouds might take a lot of the day to break. But they should break by Friday night. And then Saturday, the clouds roll back in. And pretty quickly, this next cold front comes in. And I suspect there's probably some showers around on Saturday. Perhaps mostly in the morning. It'll be a pretty windy day. Notice our isobars pretty packed together here. So this is what I mean by our peak fall colors over the next few days. Another couple of windy days. And we're going to have a lot of naked trees. Uh, by the second half of the weekend, that pushes away. And there's some disagreement on the modeling. I'm just showing you the GFS model here. But... Uh, GFS would suggest it's a cool, brisk day Sunday, maybe a shower. European model actually doesn't blow this front through and keeps it kind of mild on Sunday. Uh, my forecast is kind of somewhere in the middle right now, so we'll see how that plays out. In the longer range, I think the last couple of days of October and the start of November next week will be sort of mild. Now, it's not going to be in the 70s, but when you consider on November 1st our average high is 55, 56 degrees, if it's 58 or 59, it's above average. Uh, so I think we're going to see some days like that next week. Highs 5 to maybe 6 or 7 degrees above the average. Now, what about November, which begins, you know, in a little more than a week? Now, here's the latest climate modeling for the month of November. A lot of warmth shown here, but I'll tell you, I'm not really buying this for the month as a whole. Now, the month may start out looking like this, but there's more and more evidence that there's going to be a flip in the pattern or a pretty significant change in the pattern towards the second week of November uh, with a ridge trying to set up shop out here. Notice this ridge, all the red colors here. When that happens, oftentimes downstream there's a trough. And so that is a signal that we could be dealing with more consistently cold weather, or at least chilly weather, by the middle of November. So November starts mild, probably turns colder uh, by the second week. More updates on that in future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks as always for watching tonight. I'll see you back here tomorrow night and have a great rest of this Monday.